Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Equestria at War in which we're playing as that there Nova Grifonio, a nation I don't believe I've ever played, but we're starting with the new economic policy of the NEP. It has become obvious that the Grifonian Empire will not reunite in the near future, leaving us without our primary source of manufactured goods and practically crashing our economy. Only quick and decisive action will be able to save us from the brink of utter collapse now. Now, we have a colonial administration which is god-awful. We also have Falcons of Griffinstone, as well as Griffin Militia, so this... Will definitely help us out. Now, right now, we also have outdated industrial sector, huh? But soon... Hey, that's not bad. Very cool. So, after that one... Uh, we can't do any of this stuff here. We don't have utter chaos or begin stabilization yet, but... We'll see. And then, state of the military, of course. Army, Navy, Air Force. But... Let's go, get going this way for now. Dolly Mines. Welcome to the big mining company. Northern oil fields. Well, we could really use some fuel right now, but some steel would be very nice as well. Uh, southern railways, that's not bad. I will do southern railways. Dilly Mines. The Dilly Mountains are barely inhabited, but rich, mineral rich strip of land. Opening up mines, it would be certainly profitable, but we should remember to invest in some warm clothes for the workers. Yeah, maybe. Muck requires funds. Is that time of year again? The time of year are muck grovels for funds. Uh, once T. Moore is promising to fix economic and bandit issues of frontier faces on hourly basis, which we do, they're on their own. Give them some money, see what happens. We'll see, we'll see what happens, because right now we're trying to build up some more civilian factories. And now we're down to one. But we got some national standards here. And let's grab some separated complexes, because why not? And then northern oil fields. Let's do that one next, because we could really use a little bit more fuel, especially when we're trying to train our ships and planes. Sure, the northernmost provinces are bleak, boring, and up until recently completely useless, but with the discovery of oil along the northern coast and in the foothills of the Onier Mountains, uh, the northern provinces are now officially recognized as, as only bleak and boring. But they're very useful. No, we could trade with Skyfall, which actually would be pretty good. Um, I do want to wait and get some uh, more military training. Oh, well, that's not bad. Get some army XP and stuff like that. Summer Sun Celebration. Also, we're on A Historical, so I don't know what's going to happen. Um, hopefully some good stuff happens, but we'll see. I do want to get this guy to get some more political power as well. I do love me some silent workhorses, especially since it'll pay off for pretty, hopefully the entire campaign. After that, we'll probably get some more army XP because we're not getting any at all, at all right now, which does kind of suck. We have 12 divisions, with 8 of them being... Okayish combo, okayish eight okayish twelve combo with infantry divisions, and twelve combo with mountain divisions as well. So not too bad. And about a week left for that. Not bad. Not bad. War support's not terrible, and stability is decent enough for now. Very good. But oil, twenty four more oil. Yes, please. When organize a big mining company. The big mountains are rich with minerals, minerals necessary to industrialize their nation. While the big mountains have a number of smaller private owned mines, they hardly have the capacity to supply our fledgling nation. If we wish to see any progress, we must form a central mining company that shall carefully and in a somewhat organized manner extract the resources found on the mountainside. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. And I'll save the rest of the political power. Oh, the Grand Galping Gala. Yeah, by the time this recording, like, this is the first time I'm actually playing uh, the Quest of War with. No step back. It, for me, it's been it's been a long time since I've actually played this. Kingdom of Millennia, huh? Deer's Republic. Egal equestrian, not egalitarian, but equestrian socialism. All right, all right, not bad. Very interesting. One point two every day. Oh, and we can grab someone here too, huh? That's not bad, but that ability is kind of less than useful right now. Organization, I like a lot. We have a lot of infantry, but that's not going to help everybody. 4%. Uh, we're probably going to honestly grab both. Uh, what, is over here? what do we have over here? Ooh, more division defense. Division speed's okay. Entrenchment speed's okay, so definitely this guy's the way we want to go. Um, let's start working on it first. Let's get some uh, organization. At least give us a little bit every day to start off with. Oh, Longsword Liberation Army. Hungarian Socialism. Rosewood Order. Oh, and we got some ponies. Or griffins, I guess you say. Train as well. Train, train, train. A refugee for Fluina. Chocolat de Rosbrun, the disgraced former mayor of Fluina, arrived in our country earlier today. His term has been a complete disaster that had completely ruined his home city of Fluina and married Mar's reputation. Not Mary, but Mar. It was therefore no surprise that he decided to flee his home and move abroad when questioned by our officials. He said he moved across the ocean to Nova Grifonia because it was so far away from home. He said he was planning to apply for citizenship and buy a man on the shores of Lake Kingsmere, where he would hold many parties. He promised to invite the officials if they allowed him to pass through the customs of the port. But Foon is welcome to stay. One more pony power, and plus one more political power, I think. Could be wrong, but yeah. As we're just trying to train as much as possible. 25 is not very much today, but 0.08. It's not bad. Not bad. Hey, Northern Oil Fields. 
Southern Railway says about one next. Communication lines between the capital and the rest of the country are rather strained. The old courier networks around the country are no longer efficient or cost effective. So, we decided to take a page out of Equestria's book and construct a railway network stretching from the Big Mountains to Vetter. So, railway, 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 two infrastructure, three infrastructure, four infrastructure, Fethizian deal, and more infrastructure. An operator from Fethizia recently arrived with news of a business opportunity. They wish for us to invest in their nation with hopes that it will help them with their economic troubles and that we can profit from it once it recover. Fine, so be, is this a, is it a Ponzi scheme? It might be a Ponzi scheme, maybe. Ah, uh, we got our stuff back, nice. Yeah, we're always trying to build up more ships, or at least repair these ships, because I want as much naval speed as possible. Nice. Keep repairing, keep repairing, doing pretty damn well on that stuff, actually. Anything else we learn over here? War Industrious is not terrible. Captain Adventure would be pretty nice, actually. Um, that's okay. Backroom Backstabber is okay. Yeah, I think we're just going to focus on these groups. Or we focus on getting partial mobilization. The partial mobilization is probably the way I want to go for now. Yeah. So, when do we get a crisis? Do we ever get it? Maybe we do get it? Maybe I should have left it on historical. Maybe I should have left it on historical for my first run. Probably. But I can always fix that off screen and do it again later. Fighter 1's not bad. 1007, not bad either. 1008. I'll grab that. Enforcements and concentration. Give more stability would be nice. But yeah, five is not terrible. Could be better though. So. Beak mining, nice. Southern Railways met next with Northern Railways. Or we do Veteran Industrial City. Ooh. Maybe we do a Veteran Industrial Center next. In spite of all the setbacks we have suffered as a nation, our efforts have finally managed to attract enough investors to allow us to set up a proper Industrial Center in Vetter. Or Wetter. Remember when I first played this mod, I played as Stalingrad. Quite unique nation. Food shortages, pretty normal. I don't think the focus has really changed for them at all, but that's okay. Doesn't have to. One point every day, do we need more ships yet? Nope. How much are we repairing? Probably quite a bit. Ooh, fighters. Oh. Early bombers, that's fine with us. Go up there. And ship wise. Wow. The Deer's Republic. 22 days, Jesus. Oh, Deer's Republic actually won. Look at that. Doesn't seem very thick of a focus tree, but maybe it doesn't always have to be. Alright, 1007. Grab some of that. That'd be nice. And grab some partial mobilization. So we get way more fuel. We can use a couple more civvies. At least more factories in general to use. Modern analytical engines. Very nice. The Blue Moon Festival. I think I've read this one before. So if you want to do this, please go ahead. Artillery's fine for now. Why not use tanks in this campaign? We'll see. Armored trains will be very good to use as well. Nice. Stagnated economy. So yeah, we'll see what Nova Grafoni is like. Maybe this is going to be a boring campaign. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't be so. But... I mean, in the meantime, we'll do the best we can. We have more daily supremacy support, which is not necessarily a good thing, because we're not on line right now, but... We are believers in republicanism, you have no elections. Alright, then. Alright. Five more cities will be very nice. Saving to focus, though, is very long. Northern Railways. With the new oil fields in the north, we must ensure that not a single drop of oil is lost in transit. To this end, we've decided to fund the construction of a railway connecting the northern territories to the vector. And Goldfeather's Gunworks. Goldfeather's Talon Gunworks. Triton Gunworks. Associates. Supremacy. From the Veteran University. Ooh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I'll be honest. I think I want to go this way. Talon Gunworks sound really fun. Three and three. Oh, it's three and three. Oh, anyways. Would I rather get Supremacy and Military Factories or more four more dockyards? Hmm. Supremacy is going up anyways. Hmm. Yeah, I'll probably go with this guy. More defense is always nice. Um, Northern Railways, at least. Yeah. That one's going to do another investment, of course. Despite the North being rather bleak and desolate, the various oil fields and refineries have recently been opened. That has oddly enough become one of the most populous states. In light of oh, this information, we'd be wise to invest in improving our industry there. Down for noble cause. Ooh. Four naval bases versus three military factories. 
Honestly, I think we're going to go this way, so... Goldfeather's Town, Gunworks? We've recently been contacted by one Skirian Goldfeather, one of the richest aristocrats from the old country, who until recently was heavily involved in the question arms trade. However, due to issues back home, Goldfeather's decided that change of scenery is in order and has offered the services of both himself and his town Gunworks. Changings invade Alenia. The word has reached us that the Changings have officially declared war against Alenia. After months of build-up, Changing forces marched across the border where they had already begun to clash with the first line of Alenian defense. Heavy casualties are being reported. It seems like the situation in Alenia is about to become a bloodbath. While we're not exactly sure on the reasons for war, one thing's for certain, Olenia's in dire straits. Any offers for diplomatic intermediation from a third party have been bluntly rejected by Queen Chrysalis. She says this is a dispute between Olenia and the changing lands, and it will be resolved shortly. Thus, intervention from other countries is unnecessary. We were unable to stop the outbreak of war, now we need to decide what to do. You did this unit official protest condemning the either side for causing hostilities or simply saying nothing and say out of the matter. Surely, once the changings are done with Olenia, they will demobilize their army and remain content with what they have. Letter of support. Uh, uh, I guess if we are going, if we are going supremacist, I don't know. Well, we'll see what we do because we're still doing other investments. We're going to be doing these gun works, and probably end up doing gold for the associates. But really, fun the veteran university for a long time. Most Griffins here in the colonies have had to go back to the Griffonia for any form of higher education. But with the continued unrest back home, that is simply no longer an option. If we should ensure the future of our nation, we will need an educated elite so that. So to that end, we have decided to retrofit several old administrative buildings and venture to a new into a new university. Muck's request, despite all odds, the power keg that was the frontier was stabilized by Governor Muck, and the people of the frontier requested to join Nova Grafoni as a proper province. We welcome them into the fold. Oh, okay then. Great. We got some provisions. Nice. Sweet. Also, I just recently added some support artillery onto both these mountaineers. As well as these guys, and then now they're 18 combat as well, so it's pretty good for us. And I'm doing Gold Feathers Associates still, so overall, not bad. We could really use some more military factories. I'll probably plop at least one more on there. One, uh, two. Trailer's not bad. We will need actually quite a bit more, though, where we're headed, so. After that one, economic recovery? Sure, why not? And get rid of a stagnated economy. So, I don't know. We'll see how far this campaign goes. Maybe the changings will attack us, maybe they won't, but we'll see. After a long and grueling uphill battle, we finally managed to fix our dysfunctional economy. Our future is no longer as dark as we once thought, as we have attained at least economic independence for the first time in our history. Let's so remove all that, get outdated industrial sector with modern society, which means we have even way more supply consumption, which is kind of not good, but whatever, we'll deal with it. Yeah, the changing do be looking kind of big. Probably in preparation for war with these guys. Hmm. Castle Empire, Privy Council. Jackie Clan's trying to fight the Kingdom of Yakyakistan. So, they're killing each other. It's fine with us. We don't really want to get involved. Brofeld, nice. After this one, Veteran Immigration Act. Ooh. Prosperity. Develop the frontier. Zara Bata Road. Crystals in the Mountain Frontier Industry. Develop the. You know, King's Mare. Oil Reserves. Ooh. Mm. Immigration Act. The country's never been particularly populous, and as our economy grows, that's slowly becoming one of our biggest problems. In an attempt to fix the issue, the government's put forward a bill that would allow any Griffin born in Griffonia proper immigration rights into our country. Trade with Skyfall? More consumer goods? Sure, why not? We could use more consumer goods. Honestly, if we don't go to war, this might be a one-off video. Skyfall accepts. News from the great city of Skyfall offer has been accepted. New wealth should be flowing into our nation soon. Nice. Very nice. And as you can tell, we're running out of manpower too. So, or griffin power. Pony power? Whatever we call it. Yeah. Not bad. We definitely need more trucks. Do we not? Oh, we should probably research. No, we have trucks. There you go. Automated to leashes, nice. And let's go to the other two. Better anti here hit chance. Very good. Any other ships? No. It's alright. How's the world looking? Kinda of disastrous. Griffonian Empire is still trying to hang on. Duchess Gabriela Eagle Claw. Okay. Okay. Changelings. Warmonger, of course. Stalingrad. A sinister Starbuck was elected, of course. Lack of goods, shimps, simple, simple bureaucracy, former farmer markets, materials manifesto. Cool. Our country became not our country, but this country. Double diamond, huh? Our garden, past of equality, equality army. 
Huh. Neighbors, the teachings of Twilight Sparkle. Call it a war. Maybe I should play them sometime. I can have recovery? Why not? So is this supposed to fire or not supposed to fire? Ah. Oh, his death needs to fall apart now. New economic policy. Well, immigration. Maybe it's supposed to happen later on. Uh, prosperity. Uh, prosperous economy. Which one do we want? Crystals are nice. Military factories would be nice, too. I like the infrastructure. And free rails, but... Get some infrastructure here. Civilian factories would be pretty good in oil. We developed the King's Mare. But about the regions of the Northwest, we could finally attract more settlers moving to these more desolate areas. Pretty much, man. Pretty much. We're going to do this, but now I'm going to take you guys out. Thank you very much. Right there. Pneumatic tools. Nice. Grab some of that, because you can. Supply hubs are... Well, not completely close to us. Are you... Actually, I think that's fine. There you go. Just in case. Alright, so after that. Stop training the Skyfall. We could do that. Military training wouldn't be bad either. I want to go to war economy, but we'll see. Supremacy is getting pretty darn large. Did we flip once we get high enough there? And we'll probably grab a Land Doctrine Theorist, in all honesty. It makes it cheaper for us. Oh, good. Okay. There you go. And we'll go with Spirit Firepower for this one. Tactical Bombers are nice. 2009. There you go. Grand Duchy Early Bombies. Nice. Go with 9 just in case you need it. So Overall, not bad. Not bad. Training Skyfall is very good too. Building up some more roads, which is okay. I prefer building up some more industry first, though, before we get to any part of the roads. You guys aren't suffering from any sort of attrition yet. Which is good. Very good. I'm just waiting for these guys to kill each other. Oh! Or for us to die first. Okay. Well, at least something's happening. Should have realized that this was, this was going to happen. Uh, you know what, if we can put both armies on the line, that'd be good. There you go. Do the best you can. Christian, develop King's Mirror, nice. Also, make sure that you're stopping, too. I'm doing that instead. There you go. Oh, you gotta stop there, yeah. The attack here is fine. Tifeather's assassination. Oh, crap. Chaos consumed the nation. Today, as on a warm summer day, uh, Tifeather, the long-standing governor of our fair nation, was shot dead upon the steps of his manor. Unfortunately, the assailant managed to escape before the police could respond. Without escape, go to blame the people turned on each other. Long-standing tensions between the communists, harmonists, and the fascists exploded, and the streets ran red with griffin blood. By the time the military and the police managed to bring some semblance of order to the, to the country, thousands of griffins lay dead in the streets. After a long and bloody day, one simple question was upon the beak of every griffin, what happens next? Let the honor, let us honor the fallen. Crap. That's not good either. At the very least, hold, hold, hold. I'm glad we got a lot of army XP. We really worked on all that stuff earlier. Hopefully we can hold out and we don't have too many supply issues here. <clears throat> Crud. Long day inventor? Yeah, oh goodness. The nation's in disarray, everything's on fire, people are killing each other in the streets, and the religious nuts are proclaiming it to be the end of the world as we know it. it seems the trouble has only just begun, begin stabilization. What's he feather defeat or death? The country, country is erupted in, into utter chaos. Thankfully, we've managed to gather every political party in the country in the same room to fix the issue. Let's hope, let us hope that they don't make everything worse. We don't even make any divisions right now. We need extra manpower. That's probably going to get anyone to help volunteer here. Like, clashes in the streets. Despite the 
the group and the other group agreeing to seize any and all violence between each other. Some of the more zealous members simply don't, haven't gotten a memo. As today, in the middle of veteran less, two sides clashed, causing several dozen deaths, injuring hundreds and causing thousands of bits and damage. You know, see this old debacle and done the representatives of the provisional government any good, or any favors, really. Give me some help, man. Workers strike several trade unions have utilized the chaos in the country to protest what they call abhorrent working conditions in the factories. Apparently, they've deluded themselves into thinking that child labor is something that we should be abolished. And while the message was rather nice, and all we doubt anyone could have read the, heard them over the burning buildings and gunshots ringing throughout the entire country. Children not working? What's next? Hairless apes walking about? Oh boy. I don't even pour anything. We got enough fuel too, so. I forgot about this too. My bad. Um, there we go. That should definitely help us out at least a little bit more. Oh, crap. High Hill's criticism. Field Marshal High Hill was a former military governor of Nova Grafonia and close friendly now to see his governors taking to criticizing the provisional government for the mediocre attempt at restoring order to the country and letting radicals run wild with the streets unchecked. Well, not as beloved as T Feather Hill. Our high hell still has the respect, more importantly, the ears of most military, and this criticism won't do any, any favors, as if he could do any better. NGDF scandal. An interesting scandal has come up in the provisional government today. Yes, was discovered the NGDF representative has no less than 27 affairs with creatures ranging from bat ponies to dragons. Needless to say, the NGDF representatives were lost speechless. Perhaps it's because of the sheer insanity of it all, or the fellow representative's interesting choice of lovers. He certainly doesn't like vanilla. But at the same time, uh, we deal with a couple things off screen. And we can either have High Hell's Coup or a new era. But we have to be at peace for this. Oh, good God. This is going to be not good. Uh, the state of the military, maybe. Which commission report on the state of the military with the country moving into a new millennium? Our armed force will face new challenges. And before we can tackle those, we need a uh, precise summary on the current situation. Which isn't looking very good since we're out of pony power. Yeah, it's really, 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 really not good. Um, and they got a lot of pony power themselves. I, however, I did throw on a couple more uh, things here. I did throw on some artillery for these divisions, so we'll see how well we do. But the group, the soup kitchens. There have been some surprising news from the poorest districts of Vetter today. Several members of the, the super group, and even the infamous Falcons of Griff Griffinstone, have taken upon themselves to open several soup kitchens in, in an effort to feed the poor. Why they've done this can only be speculated upon, but most, to, to most, it's welcoming to see that even in these dark times, some basic kinds can still be found in the most unexpected places. What's next? Magic mules? Well, it definitely helps out in terms of... Uh, Put a power. I'll take whatever I can get. Motor driven computers, nice. Grab some crypt cryptology, that'd be very good. Have they stopped assaulting us for now? They do be looking slightly weak, but that's because they've probably been running out of equipment. I'm here are the couch keys. We lost 30,000 versus 91,000 so far. I think that's pretty good. Um, obviously, I want more, a lot more of everything here, but we'll see. Is there anything we could do? Commandeer civilian trains. Do we need civilian trains? No, we need 34. Oh, actually, we could use civilian trains. Don't want to lower our instability anymore, though. Provisional Council really sucks. I mentioned they'll start attacking again like crazy, probably. I just don't want to deal with attacking them off screen or just dealing with invasions. I hate the invasion part so much. You guys seem to be doing okay, though. For now. Battleships are okay. Um, can we bait them to attacking us some more? There they go. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, good lord. Um, out. Ooh. Oh, well, that's the only sub's fine. Ooh, another forcing attack. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's really not good. Throw you guys over there. I'll throw you. We can be very weak down there. Well, we'll see. That's quite devastating to their army when they force it, try to force the attack. Ooh, hello. More organization? Yes, please. That should definitely help us out, though. Quite a few more casualties for them. Geological mapping. Oh, I didn't know. Let's go up here. That'd be good to do as well. Begin stabilization. That's good, at least. Slightly more daily pickle power. Way more stability and war support. Oh, thank God. A decent amount of political power. Not a great amount, but a decent amount. 
Please just don't lose. Please. We're going to make sure we don't. So, just don't. No, no Grifonian army? <clears throat> of course, we could continue going on this way, but... Fuel-wise, I think we'll be okay. Uh, infrastructure's not bad. More pony power. Political power. 56 day focus zone. Frontier is finally ours, and there are still a lot of things wrong with it. Let's start fixing it up by developing it further in order to attract griffins other than bandits and cannibals. Oh. Precision bombing. The Dawn of the Jedi Age would decide how to apply air power. Oh, that's kind of different. We do have uh, tactical bombers for this campaign, so we'll do this one. Oh, we actually have green. Oh, that's nice. Definitely helped us out, though. My gosh, do we need more pony power? Where are we on? We're only on volunteer only. Ooh, that sucks. Good golly, keep attacking. Stop attacking. They'll, they'll be fine there. Thirty. Who's this now? Black and oh crap! Black and white storm. Um, I we. Mm, if they go to war with us, we're, we're literally dead. Uh, I don't have that many divisions. We might literally be dead here. So, eh, it is a historical. I might have to do some funky stuff off screen. Brute artillery would be bad. Anti tank would be bad. Um, here, do that. Get more horsemen, we'll be nice for more uh, defense core territory. Almost seven. Oh, whoa. Oh, we actually sunk eight destroyers. Nice. Good job, guys. Uh oh. Here's a fleet. Come on, battleships. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's nice. Oh, yes, please. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stay of the military. Nice. Grab this for slightly more political power. Uh, crystals, infrastructure, military factories would be good. Let's do the new Griffonia army. Since our independence nearly 30 years ago, our army has been comprised mostly of local militias, following elected leaders. While this has done wonders for morale, it's proving itself to be a bigger and bigger issue as our military operations grow in both complexity and size, no matter the so so solution. This issue must be fixed and must be fixed soon. Actually, you know what? Developing the frontier. That's only 14 day focus, that's not bad. Maybe we won't get a political. We won't use a focus. Do a, fo do a focus, I should say. And instead, we get political power. That's way we can focus on just getting more manpower, pony power. That's all that really matters right now is getting more and more uh, manpower. And here we are at everybody in which the Arctic Empire has just gone to war with us and we've been holding off down here against Stalingrad quite well, but we're doing the Art of Compromise. In the end we decided that the militias have a limited degree of autonomy, they should retain the right to elect their officers, however. Those officers must follow the orders from high command whether they like, them or like it or not. Trench warfare... Mass assault, creeping barrage, copy the changing, creeping barrage. Let's fly our enemies in an ocean of fire and steel. Shells from a cans will blot out the sun. At least that's a hope. So, overall, here, not too bad, but I would rather just have them not exist at all. So they went to war with us. Stupid of them. Good for us. Kill them all, please. Now, these divisions were used over here earlier. Uh, I'm sure, guys. Uh, help take out some people that... Because they, the enemy did navy invade us through here, which did kind of suck, but at the same time... We're doing okay now. We did mobilize a little bit more. So actually we're on limited conscription now, so which is actually pretty nice. Uh could barrage would be good. Thank you. Good, good, good. And now let's come over here too. Um we do want to get this one too. Create the military research department. As a country located at Equus, we need to compete in terms of military research with countries miles ahead in technology compared to old Griffonia. We need military technology which can compete with changings and questions. This won't be an easy task, but with the determination and terms we shall prevail. So they stopped attacking down south, which is fine. Um, my question is, how much more do they have to commit die so they actually do die? Because if they go to war, I, I, I will always take a piece of territory. I'm, I'm not going to play around. I have to take a piece of territory. It won't be much. Probably just the Nithian Talam Ard, but... Well, I guess that's it for them. Alright, well, whatever. Get some of that too. Fifth future south would be very, very nice. Um, other than that, expansion, do we need more steel? Are they still attacking us down here? Uh, no, not for now, which is fine. Save your political power. We're gonna need it. They might try to enable us again, and they did cut off, like, our supply 
parts, spy parts, spy zones. So, and these guys just take forever to repair. One out of eight. My goodness. Let's do that first. Attack bombers, pry when it's gone. We need quite a few more guns and artillery pieces. Let's go to the bottom for now. Are they attacking? No. Um, just gonna hang out first. So. Overall, not bad, but some of this has been really kind of cruddy and ruddy, but the main goal is to get way more artillery. Almost five a day is pretty good. It's pretty decent, not going to lie. Um, a lot more army XP every day, so we'll see. Other than that, the Griffonian Empire is looking pretty big. Aquilian Republic's looking pretty good. Kingdom of Wing Bardi is doing, well, they're doing okay. Kingdom of is nice. I stopped attacking, which is fine. Uh, disperse support. Let's go with integrated support. Oh, and regiment combat teams. Yeah, nice. And then import changing panzers. Radio implementation standardized rifle models. Create the Nova Griffon Ranger Corps. Oh, that's pretty good. Mine's fifty percent because supply consumption is pretty darn awesome, actually. Nova Griffon is a vast country. Forests and mountains often stretch for hundreds of kilometers. In order to patrol the wilderness more effectively or efficiently, we should establish a new military force, the Nova Griffonian Ranger Corps. Claw picks from the best units, the Rangers will specialize in reconnaissance, survival, and combat, and difficult terrain. Pretty much. Come back down here, and they're not naval invading us anymore, which is nice and all, but... Well, they can try to naval invade them. We have one sub left, oh god. How are we looking over here? Don't, don't repair there. Don't repair there either. That's the only one I want you to repair in. Uh, two is okay, but everything else is alright. All right, so you are now doing okay-ish. Well, ish. Repair, repair, repair. Don't be dumb. You have a attack is okay. Um, well, they really stopped attacking. They did still throw over quite a few divisions, because they invaded here first. And then they invaded down here with a lot of divisions, so... The front line is probably looking at least a little depl depleted. Aquilian's March. Nice. Um, Air Doctrine 2? Yes. Good. We're working conditions for more of that. Or we go straight to War Economy. Nice. And instead, we'll choose 1910. Prove our Artie. Can we actually strike anywhere here? And they don't have a lot. Uh, 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 maybe here? Maybe? Yeah, maybe. Oh, we're still putting up a lot of roads. Uh, military factors obviously would be best, but still. Uh, engineers, yeah. Go with that one for now. Should be able to push over, right? First thing again, we can use more manpower as well. We don't have that much more manpower now. Hey, you actually made it. Look at that. All of you go there. You support the attack, and you support the attack as well. Go there and circle four more divisions. That'd be great. Lots and lots of casualties, please. Oh, look! would you look at that? Just as planned. <clears throat> Supply-wise, we got a lot of arty. And you know what? I love it. Beautiful. Alright, um, up next. So, uh, we could go two there, like, you six go there and half you go there, maybe. House of Eerie. Nice, not bad. Um, because we could use one more already here, and we won't have enough. A 27 combat is pretty gosh darn decent, not gonna lie. And we got him. Nice. Destroying their tank divisions is very good, too. Could we actually do, a, like, a full invasion here? Or I could throw these divisions down here as well. I could punch a hole through here. And cut off Starlight's Town. While trying to minimize casualties. You could probably do that instead. Standing in the backs of giants. Oh, my goodness. Ranger Corps. Sanders Rifle Models. 
Standing on the backs of giants, Northern Nova Griffonia is almost entirely compromised mountain ranges. Army needs to excel at fighting this type of terrain that must require high, special high altitude flying lessons as well as specialized lightweight equipment for easy maneuvers in a three dimensional combat environment. Nice. Yeah, that, they are blowing on the heck back already. Also, Avian. Yeah, they got nothing on us now, which is actually really nice. Once you get enough arty, enough soft attack, they, they can't really do anything to you. It's pretty nice, not gonna lie. Changing to invade the polar bears. Words reached us that the changing tab after launching an official diplomatic threat invading Northern Protector as they defiantly refused to bow down to Chrysalis. The bears, weak in outnumber, are not likely to survive the onslaught of the changing war machine. It seems like yet another nation will soon follow the relentless advance of the hives. While some may say we should simply stand aside and avoid confrontation with Queen Chrysalis, others pressuring our government to take a stance in the conflict and proclaim official support for either side. So other more war sports are okay with us. You guys actually win there, maybe? Win here and here, and that'd be really good. Nice. Oh, hello. Oh, ah, yeah, makes sense. I ain't done that. There you go. Now you guarantee us victory right there. There you go. Now look at that. Now that's beautiful. Yeah, soft attack, so good. Never underestimate soft attack. Good. Go in. Both groups go in. Prove already? Nice. A little bit ahead of time. I don't want it. If everyone knew anything ahead of time, it would be that one. Oh, are they? Oh, they're forcing the attack too. Look at that. You know, they want to force defense. We'll force attack then. Pretty safe new time arrow. It goes our country. Nice. Oh, now it's really our country. So now they're left with not that many divisions. They've lost a lot of guys. Half a million guys. That's pretty good. I keep forgetting that we need to mobilize more too. But whatever. For now, we got to make sure that we get supplies through here. Supplies through here. Here. There you go, that's looking a lot better. I don't think they can recover from this now. You pieces of donkey doo doo. Oh, they're back. Crap, that's not good. We're still at war with them, too. Whatever, if we finish fast enough with this war, we should be okay. So now, you guys have what? 826. Plenty of manpower stockpile. I'm not sure how much they have left. Senators, officers training. Um, oh, more population. Expand the Ranger Corps. The introduction of the Ranger Corps turned out to be a giant success. The combat potential of our army has been greatly increased thanks to these brave griffins. We need to play to our strengths by expanding the Corps. Well, uh, tanks and armor, that's not uh, really helpful, but whatever. Yep, they literally died there. So we like to see. Make sure we don't need to show back up there. That'd be good. Also, occupied territory, civilian oversight, local autonomy. Ooh, we're getting division. That's better. We'll circle back up north very soon, but... Yeah, Northern Protector, that's not good. So far, I think we're doing pretty darn well against these guys. Have we at least killed half a million? Yes, oh yes we have. Nice. We're going to need some logistic companies, too. Something I don't want to forget. 600 is not bad. Not enough, though. Well, we won. 
God, I would not. Would I recommend it? Eh, it's not too bad of a war, but still. And now I'm gonna be back. I want you guys down south. I like, kind of watch these fine folk. For now. Engineers, logistics. Oh, I definitely get logistics. Implement the reverse reservist system. As Griffins, we need to remember that we are surrounded by creatures of different races and cultures. They will never fully trust us. That's why we implement a special system of emergency military service in case of external military threats. Your name's Stalingrad? Yeah. Princessin. Alright. So now we're going to have quite a bit of resistance. Yeah, this is going to suck. Which means we should probably create an intelligence agency. I'll put down resistance. Recon 2s. Happy 10 11, everybody. Right there. Got some of the guys again. As we're moving in. Oh, how are we doing up here? Well, I got quite a few divisions back. 4,000 manpower loss. Just got to save our pee pee. Winter expert? Sure, why not? It's pretty cold up here. Nice. Losses for them, 6,000. 68 divisions, not bad. Ooh, first and second Ranger Corps, nice. Kingdom of Vidin is gone. You know what? This is what I like about. Um, what's this mod? God dang, it's only 16 comments. Um, Quest Your War, my bad. How did I forget the name? Uh, it's just because you can edit the divisions that you were given eventually, I think. Most of it, not all, which is so nice. I hate mods that don't allow you to edit divisions eventually. And I understand why you can't, but it's just so annoying sometimes. Oh, look at that. That was kind of different. Nice. Any fires in to begin? What about down here? Air reform would be that be nice to do, but we're not going to waste political power on that just yet. We're missing anything here except artillery, of course. Artillery is missing, but whatever. Hey, we got him. Nice. Good pop at them, but now we're good right now. Um, I don't trust these guys. And this might be really bad for supply, but you never know. The High, High Hill Affair. Interesting scene erupted today in the streets of Vetter as General High Hill marched into the Central Council Chamber of the Provisional Government in front of a column of soldiers. High Hill proceeded to denounce the government and attempted to dissolve the Provisional Government. And he just said this, and I said, well, the Council, no one's quite sure who fired the first shot, but in about ten seconds flat, the city erupted into chaos once more today. The future of a great nation shall truly be decided. Shall democracy win or shall be buried under High Hill's ambition? He's executed for treason. Wins and abolishes the council. As communist rebels. Oh my goodness. Fight for freedom. New era. Long march. Victory. Wild card. Griffin on the high hill. March of the Falcons. A new imperator. A new imperator. A new imperator as well. Oh, crap. Federal Republic. United Republic. I don't know, there's a lot of ways we can go here. I want to see how far you can go with Supremacy, so let's go with the Supremacy one. Um, well. I did want to get this one first. Change conscription law, but whatever. Death of no Griffin Democracy? Everyone high hell, huh? Are supply really bad here now? No? Well, it's a good thing this all happened after, uh... The war's over, holy crap. Oh! Wait, this is... Weird. It's very odd. That basically all the territory we just took? Oh. Oh, crap, this is not gonna be good now, is it? Uh, infiltration... Oh, wow. Yeah, this presents a lot of that, so that's good. Mm. Prefer that one probably to get that tile done first. Just have slightly more manpower implement the reserve system, which is good. High Hill's coup. Erwin High Hill, the charismatic former military governor of the colony, has managed to seize the apparatus state. Let us hope we can bring some order back to the country. Wow, we'll get like no political power. Well, at least we get more manpower right now, which is good. Mobilization speed, training time. Oh, we're demobile. Oh my gosh. Communist rebels fight for freedom. Long march, surrounding the enemy. Deal with Iron Claw. Oh, we definitely need that one next. Absolutely. 
During this fight for control over Nova Gaponia, Iron Claw and his radical movement expressed support for government. Perhaps we could strike a deal with him in order to strengthen our cause. Work with Gold Feather. Pacification Q Valley? Skirmish? Well, let's destroy these guys first. Long march. We must reassert control over Nova Gaponia at once. Send battalions to us for reclaim some more inner, inner, inland territories from filthy claws of rioters. Refuse to recognize how hell's rule. Pretty much. More fuel and more fuel. Holy cow. Supplies, okay. Resistance is still going up because we have, like, no manpower. Wow, definitely helps out quite a bit. Um, industry 12. God dang, this sucks. Work with the gold feather now. Long march next. Followed up with the pacification in the Clue Valley. Resource rich Clue Valley must be stripped of from the control of unpatriotic scum and yak insurgents. Its mineral wealth belongs to the state, not the rebel scum. And we all hate rebel scum here. Game subject, well, that's fine, whatever, we don't really care. Um, do we at least have enough of everything? Pretty much. We got enough guns, artillery, pieces like that. This is really, really awesome. I guess we probably need, uh... How far can we go with supremacy? I love being a supremacist. I am a supremacist myself. Things taken out of context with Mr. Mocha Lover. Falcons integrated, nice. Long march. All the way from better. Our troops march onwards towards the northwest as the forces reach the hills. Communist guerrillas began skirmishing the exhausted troops, but all was not lost. High Hill riled the soldiers and led them on a counterattack which broke the spirit of the terrorists in no time. Soon enough, the hills and mountains were cleansed of communist scum. Victory's ours, at least this day. Nice. Good. It's already looking better. Nice. Hey, way more political power, too, which is great. Description power, and we want to get some nuclear stuff, too. Skirmish said Guido Novo. The city of Guido Debo is home to traitors, and we shall skirmish these traitors down in surprise attack rather than draw a siege of the city. No mercy. Absolutely no mercy. Of course, we're still getting some more army XP, too, which is good. Stabilization, my friend. Stabilization. Pacification. After the coup, the communist partisans joined forces with the local Yak insurgents in Clue Valley. <clears throat> Promising to recognize them as an equal citizens of Nova Caponia if they aided them. The local Yak populace has been a thorn on our side, and this only proves that the thorn should have been removed before it was too late. High Hill's forces first occupied the hills and mountains surrounding the valley, which the rebels have foolishly left undefended. Then he brought in his artillery and fire on, of Tartarus upon the unprepared enemy. With fierce fire support, the infantry easily shattered pockets of resistance and took thousands of prisoners. Yaks, however, proved to be resilient fires who stubbornly refused to surrender. After heavy casualties, they were finally driven across the border into Jakistan. Send the prisoners to camps. Yay! Battle of Kingsmere. The final battle for the Lake of Kingsmere to our northwest is soon to commence. The outcome of this battle will hopefully finally crush a rebellion in the area. Not bad. Could be worse. Could be a lot, 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 lot worse. Nice. Doctor said, "I don't know. I don't know how to play as a. How do you play as a Dread League? They seem kind of weird. Let me know. What do you, What do you know about the Dread League? How do you play them? Because I, I want to do a campaign on them sometime. I'm not really sure how to though. So let me know in the comments below. Like, should I try them out sometime? Are they worth trying out? Or Ar Arcturus Order? Oh, oh, there's another page down here too. Oh, I did not see that. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's actually really cool." Heart attack, reinforce rate, yeah, no, this one, definitely. More soft attack, recon for recon. Fall of Van Hoover. Van Hoover. The phony Empire. Actually, since we're here, you guys should must have trained. We have no more, oops, we have no more subs. Whoopsie. My bad. Skirmish at Gwindo Nuovo. The Count's controlled town of Guin Guido Nuovo was an important center of rebellion. Here, the red flag was first raised as soon as news of the Battle of the Coup arrived. The local garrison expelled after a fierce fight. It had been a became a fortified bastion of socialism, which would not e fall easily. High Hill knew he had to be cunning to avoid a costly siege. Our troops marched through the local forest during the night, hiding in advance until revealing themselves just outside the city. It was not a pleasant experience for anyone involved, and a group of soldiers were even ambushed by Ursa Major. However, <clears throat> It was all worth it. As they emerged out of the forest at dawn, arriving from a direction which had been left completely undefended, the Reds had no time to prepare and organize a response to see quickly taken by our brave soldiers. Once more, we have defeated these vile traitors. Send the prisoners to the camps. Nice. 
annihilate the FFNGSP. The filth that is a comet must be rooted out once and for all. We shall find them and deliver them to the much deserved justice. Absolutely. Smoocher? Here it is. Man. You should be getting a lot less resistance here now. Uh, well, maybe not. Okay, then. That sucks. Oopsie. Battle of Kingsmere. Clash between two gigantic forces. Ours and that of the communists took place on the shores of the Kingsmere to Lake to the south or northwest. What initially was started as a skirmish developed into all-out battle with artillery, fire, and planes. Griffins, both loyals and communists, perished on the battlefield by the hundreds. Although the cow's trees were high, the reds were the ones, too. <clears throat> Sound the retreat at the end of the day. Our fires mowed them down without mercy, so they tried to escape by running and flying. Nice. Good. Less demilitarized zones, the better. Or the fewer. Annihilate them. Work with gold feather. Nice. We'll save that one for the last. Surround the enemy. By using old mountain pass, we could sneak some of our soldiers past the rebels boring with Vetter. And the bleak mountain ranges to the west. If successful, we would regain control over these mountains and effectively surround the enemy. Nice. Uh, grab some military police as well. We could probably use that. Get some of that too. Get some of that as well. Plenty of fuel. Plenty, plenty. Supporting Equestria against the Changelings. Seems that the Changelings decided to invade Equestria, and while we don't exactly like either side, it's better than have the Equestrians at our doorstep than the Changelings. Therefore, some of our advisors recommend that we send some assistance to the Equestrians. Well, and maybe in a little bit. Maybe. Resistance is still getting higher. Uh, compliance is doing what? Well, we have some, some, some compliance in some places. For that one, we're going to go ahead and go over here and do this. Cryptology, better. Higher. Annihilate them. Thank God. So, under the enemy, do we actually mobilize more? Yes, please. The Battle of Nye Winghagen. The cost of the city of Nye Winghagen must be reclaimed and brought back under our control. The traitors cannot have it. No, they cannot. Since we're here. It costs us everything we have, including some manpower as well, but you know what? By God, we need it. Thank God. Now it's starting to go down a little bit more in some of these areas, like here. Compliance, 21%, 12%, 24%. 6% ain't very much, but that's okay. Nice. Work with Gold Feather. I mean, getting more civilian and military factors would be always good, but I want to get rid of this one. Destroy the G NGDF. Up the Bleak Beak Mountain. By using old, larger, forgotten mountain paths, small detachment troops managed to sneak past several Republican patrols. They managed to make their way into the camps of the rebels, which were defended by a small force. A shootout quickly turned into a lengthy skirmish with traitor guerrillas as enemy reinforcements arrived. The mountain strain did not favor our troops in any way, but through sheer willpower, valiant effort, and high-held leadership, our troops pushed ever onwards and eventually captured the camp and supplies, which caused the rebels who were left to surrender. That was a tough battle, but we take the north. We must strike the enemy up north and regain what is ours from those rebels and traitors. Yeah, absolutely. Keep pressing resource. It's still slowly going down, and going down even further in a lot of these areas here. Finally, thank goodness. Another battleship? Yes, please. Nice. We may actually... Eh, we'll just get some naval stuff too eventually as well. Wouldn't well, that be really good to do? Any more guns? No, we don't. The Battle of Night Winghagen. Cold city of Nye Winghagen, an old settlement that has always had Republican sentiments, uh, had been taken by the rebel troops after High Hell's coup. They celebrated Khmer Sky's liberation of their old homeland decades ago and continued to advocate the establishment of a Nova Grifonian Republic. Foolish, I know. That nonsense ended today when our troops tore down the Republican tricolor from the flagpole of the city of Nye Winghagen. The fighting had been some of the fiercest yet, but after taking many casualties during the urban fighting in the city, the troops managed to secure each building. The Democratic rebels who remained were alive or scattered into a tree. While it was a great victory, four shells of fighting soon occurred in the city of Nueva Aquilia. Not far from that Winghagen. We're almost there. We are almost there. I'm going to mobilize more men now immediately. Uh, actually, how, how much more mobilization can we do? Um, we're at 1, 2, or the point five, three, five percent So we can mobilize a little bit more. Maybe damage garrisons would be better to do. This one would be good to do as well. Ooh, damage garrisons. I want this one because we're op doing this one as well. But we're going to do this one because this will give us less damage garrisons right now. And give us more non core pony power as well. So that actually helped out probably quite a bit, if anything. Show up and foreign services activities efficiency. We'll get there. 
We're mobilizing more anyways right now, so the final battle. The final battle is upon us. The city of Nueva, Nouvelle Aquila will be the final showdown between us and the Vile Traders. Forward into battle. And battling, we must go. A couple days left. And victory. The end of the Civil War. March of the Falcons, probably. Abolish income tax. Oh, maybe not. Officialize the Falcons. Battle for the north. The troops march north. Aim and reclaim the frigid fjords, mounds from the traders. It don't take long for them to engage in a series of small battles with local resistance. The rebels pulled back before ambushing the troops once more, then pulling back again. This would repeat at least five times before the enemy finally dispersed for good, but cow trees are truly something to be mourned. What a pain. Destroy the NGDF. Finally. The Social Democratic Party shouldn't be nothing but a club of traders and rebels, but partially responsible for causing the civil war. The party shall henceforth be banned and its members imprisoned. How much resistance? This is, it's still rising up here, which makes sense. Down here, it's actually looking quite a bit better. Still not great, though. Battle for Nouvelle Aquila. It was a bloodbath, indeed. The Republic of Defense is in and around this, uh, the city, where a deadly, deadly obstacle. The city itself is the capital of the NGDF, who saw it as Nova Grafonia's beacon of democracy. Out of the counter revolution in Aquila many years ago, the king had exiled thousands of Republicans here, and they have not abandoned the pathetic ideology since. Many of them saw the current unrest as an opportunity to redeem themselves by overthrowing the government and establishing a republic like they'd done in 980. Artillery howled in the deep of the night, shelling enemy foxholes and barricades in the suburbs. Then shortly after, the first assault battalions engaged. Machine guns sang and rifles barked, with the occasional fuzzle, muzzle flash. For the enemy's guns were all the soldiers could aim for during these late hours. And although the casualties were greater than expected, our troops overran the outer defenses. Later at sunrise, a new barrage of high explosive shells bombarded the city itself. Windows shattered, roofs caved in. Fire took hold of a quarter of the city. The rebel troops, discouraged by this, held on by a thread. By the time our troops engaged them in close quarters combat, even melee combat in some cases. Though the resistance was fierce, they were soon able, soon made to surrender. The days are ours, the voice of democracy has been silenced for good. Nice. And work with Goldfeather. Goldfeather, known by many as a ruthless capitalist, could be a vital supporter for us if we could sway him to our side. His financial aid could do us quite well. Getting more stability would be very good as well. But let's see if we can support him. It seems like the changings have decided to invade the question, and while we don't exactly like either side, it's better to have the questions at our doorstep than the changings. Therefore, some of our advisors have recommended we send some assistance to the questions. That's fine for now. They can have some assistance, because I don't want to fight them yet. This, even though we are, I do kind of want to align with the um, changings. I kind of do want to ally with them. If possible, we're just taking about ourselves, so. The, the longer we can delay their invasion, the better, in my personal opinion. But that's just me. Oh, look at manpower! Oh, goodbye, manpower. It's almost 10, 12, get some output. Magical equipment, huh? Oh, we need way more military factories now. Holy crap. We have enough trains. Artillery-wise, we should be fine on that stuff for now. You guys. God, I'd love to throw on another mountain here, but we can't. What is wrong with you all? They're all trying to repair in the same place, Vetcher. There you go. Not bad. Destroy the NGDF. Work with the gold feather. Good old goldie feather. Nice. Victory. It is done. Civil War is over and the order has been restored. Huzzah! I like to use a spot of uh, rubber, eh? On with us, resistance slowly going down 46%. Ain't bad 20% compliance. Oh, it's, a, it's quite a, slightly more blue, quite a bit slightly more blue here. Nothing up here, but resistance should be going up still and down. Oh, that's not good. Oh, are you suffering from supply issues after here? Yeah, yeah, you are because of attrition. That's fine, whatever. Whee. Don't make any more for now, it's fine. Um, that's really good. Even though I prefer the air superiority, just in case. Like, we want that maxed out, so we'll wait to get this one, probably. But then again, I do want to get the, the operative one first. Which would be great. Great, 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 great. Can we actually send any volunteers? Yeah, we can, actually, huh? Two divisions, well. Alright. 
I don't know why you have to say send air launches. You should be able to send them anyways, but whatever. Oh, did they reject us? Are you seriously? Are you serious, bro? Why did you refuse us? You can't afford to lose your war, can you? Well, I guess you can, technically, but still. That wouldn't be very smart. Then again, I guess they never said they were smart, so. After victory, we got so close to getting prosperity down here, too, man. Oh, it was so nice. So nice to get down there. We can't do any of that. So armories, perform the general staff. Hey, that's pretty good, too, actually. Land auction cost. You get down here so late, that doesn't even matter too much. Um, 10, 12. Better fighters? Sure, why not? Hmm. Standards rifle models? After a separation from the Empire, we're forced to import many differently designed rifle models from abroad. Let's cause logistical and production problems. In order to fix these issues, we need to analyze the current situation and choose one common rifle model for the entire army. But I want to read about victory first before we end this episode, so. We're in high hill. Oh, a high hill. It's quite a bit. Local autonomy is very good to get, but still. We need to throw in some. Um, how much support equipment? We don't have a ton of support equipment. One more manpower, maybe? Oh, it's, oh, it's starting to go down. 47% is still pretty high, but 25% is pretty good. 37% is very good, actually. Three days left. Operative lo slot still locked. But not any longer. Smooch me? Smooch. Kaja? Smooch, smooch. And I'll put you up top here now. That should really help reduce resistance. Alright, the end of the Civil War. After many months and piety of skirmishes and battles, we've come out on top and defeated those who wish to dispose the rightful government. We have restored order and justice in Nova Griffonia, and now it's time to march onwards. A new government will be formed under the watchful eye of Owen Hyhill, the hero of the conflict. It will show be a strong and united one, free from the deviant and destabilizing communism and democracy. However, Lehad Ironclaw proved himself to be a charismatic and fierce leader during the fighting, gaining popular support in the process and swelling the ranks of his party. None can deny also that Skyron and Goldfeather's industries fueled the war effort and enabled us to gain victory. Now there are whispers that Ironclaw is planning to seize power and Skyron seeks to bribe Highhill and become the leader of the truly free Nova Griffonia. Whatever the case, a new government must be organized soon lest Nova Griffonia falls into chaos again. Let us none, let none question our rule. Move east tensions, oh thank god. Oh, look at that. Now, that's nice. Um, other than that, uh, well, I guess I'd make a choice. The Griffin on the High Hill. More non-aligned. That's not bad. That's actually really good. New Imperator. Western Industrial Centers. Uh, picking your fights. Ooh! That's not bad. New Talent. Mobilize Economy. Total Mobilization. Oh, wow. Create the Owls. Oh. Or Privatize Healthcare. Abolish Income Tax. Privatize the Education System. Private Armies. You lose the population, get more tech, though. Okay. No more labor laws. Unhindered industrialization. Shake claws with oil barons. Dubious experiments. Race-specific technologies. Recreational nuclear weapons. The power of money. Wow. The march of the Falcons. Establish labor camps. Officialize the Falcons. Democracy for the Griffins. Mass nationalization. I think I want to go this way. The Great Northern War. Slavery. We lose a lot of political power and stability, though. The conquest of Hauklin. The Hauklin plan. A new Imperator. That sounds like a lot of fun. March of the Falcons. Rihad Ironclaw and his party Griffin's interests uh, have been on the radar for the government for a long time. They are well-known radicals who wish to further the interests and well-being of Griffins and Griffins only, while ruthlessly exploiting the other races. And now it seems they finally might take power by force. Ooh. And we'll also do implement the Cowitzer. A few years ago, we managed to strike a great deal with the Equestria. We acquired a modern artillery piece called Cowitzer. We need to inspect it and create a new version suitable to our needs. May air bless our shells. Support, squat, and implementation. Recent military conflicts as the Battle of Candlelight 1002 shows that in order to succeed, regular infantry needs to be supported by smaller units of soldiers trained for specific tasks. Intelligence reports say that other armies are already adding these companies to the divisions. Why shouldn't we? But if you enjoyed this long video, subscribe. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know. What did you think of this video so far? Because I've never played Nova Griffonia before, but they have a lot of content. And I guess I'll see you tomorrow. I'll also figure out what we're going to do next. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.